And before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the bell, make sure that you click all to get all the notifications for the videos that I drop. Yo, 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 what is good everybody? It's your boy Ghost Dog back in the house with another Marvel Contest Champion video. And uh, today's video, as you can see by the thumbnail, we are taking a science champ to rank five. Um, I think I go here and I show you who my current rank fives are. We have uh, Hawkling and Iceman as the current first two rank fives. And then we're going to take up our third one, who is going to be a science champ. Because, uh, you know, the thumbnail already says it, so there's no point in me beating around the bush of what class it's going to be. Uh, I think here I showed all the rank fours, rank fives, the potentials. And then I remembered, like, uh, I already have a Hawkling and I have an Iceman. But I accidentally clicked their classes. <laughs> it means to do that. I meant to click the other four classes. You can Gary see here. So I clicked Mutant, Cosmic. I was like, um, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. So I started scrolling. Wait a minute, that's not what I wanted. So unclick those. Click Science, Skill, Tech, Mystic. Those are the four classes I don't have a rank four in. These are my current rank threes and rank fours in that class. Uh, as you can see, the only class that it does have the blue arrow uh, for the rank four to five is the science class uh, we do have the ability to rank four any champ because we do have a generic three to four gym spoiler alert it was a science champ that we took up to rank four as well uh, there i show you my t6 class catalyst that i have i have two tech three science one mutant i won't be taking up a mutant anytime soon i think i was doing alliance quest i think i don't remember what i was doing uh, we're back. We're going to show you all the champs I have in the science class that could be potential rank uh, rank five candidates. We start with Spider-Man 2099. One of my was my top science rank four champ that I love playing in war and other concepts of the game. Uh, we also have Fang, who was one of my earlier rank fours as a science champ, uh, along. Just also, if I took him to rank five, it'd be a great defensive thing for my my, my BGs and for Alliance War. Uh, Immortal Abomination, currently ranked four as well. As you can see there, I think he's only like Sig 80, uh, but still a monster, a beast. We also have Scorpion, who has triple immunity to Rupture, Shock, and um, Poison, depending on what where you put him at, uh, which makes him very deadly for a lot of fights. Then I remember, oh wait a minute, I'm showing the seven stars and i don't care about seven stars <laughs> so we're going to take them out of there uh then we got our rank threes we have overseer who you could potentially take to rank four with the generic i thought it was there i remember oh it's not there i have to show it here okay there's a three to four gym that i could use i have to use because as you can see i only have three science t5 cc and we need to take them to rank five in order to use that also spider ham potential candidate for a rank three as well uh but that's also not going to happen. Um, and then we have Human Torch, uh, who could be a potential rank four, and spoiler alert, was the science that I did take to rank four, and could potentially go to rank five right here in this video. With the gym. I'd start with the gym and then use the materials to take him to rank five if I decided that was a go. Not, and you know, he does have a near, dear place in my heart. I believe he was my first science rank three champ and he's been sitting at rank three forever only because i've had other priorities uh in the battlegrounds so when i go back and look at my rank fives i'm looking at okay who's going to benefit my roster the way uh we're going we just took iceman up to rank five and looking at that i'm thinking okay there's one champ as a science champ who really benefits with having iceman on the team and that champ is going to be none other than drum roll please Scorpion. We're going to take Scorpion to rank five. Uh, and the synergy with Scorpion uh, at rank five, if Iceman's on the team, Iceman gets the extra crit damage to create more um, cold snap passives, which therefore is going to let you, when you can cancel that out with a heavy and do more damage. And for Scorpion, he gets a stun on his special two. Um, that lasts for three seconds that can allow you to do additional damage, add more debuffs and more power stings. Uh, so it's definitely a strategic play. I do speed up the ranking or leveling up of this champ from level one to level 65. 
We are constantly, we are already at level 24. We're gonna be at level 51. Then I think level 63. And then we go from 63, like 64 and some change. And then last but not least, put the little basic ice with him and get him to level 65 in the, when it lets us there. So we also notice that this is, uh, we're gonna do some fights, show how he operates in path four on war. All right, so uh, section two, path one. Uh, I did all scorpion fights here. Uh, as you can see, I did scorpion versus this I Doom on a uh, node. I always forget what node it is. I want to say like node 27, but I don't think that's right. I always get these confused. <laughs> but where it is is that, you know, if you back him twice, he gets a regen. Um, and the scorpion with the poisons will help reduce that regen duration. Node 30, that's what it is, node 30. Um, so if they never back down, uh, if you back up twice, it gives a 1.5 second regen. But with uh, with the poisons, with the uh, despair mastery, now there the AI is going. That's going to be a constant theme of this particular war video. The AI was very kind, um, and as you can see earlier on, I did I was able to avoid a unblockable special one by having the taunt up, uh, which the awaken ability does give. You do need the awaken ability in order to do that. Yes, we do here. I think here we do it again. Passive AI. We love it. We love when the AI is passive and doesn't punish us for making silly mistakes. Uh, there he tries to throw a special two and he's out. And uh, I finished the fight at 100% or just under 100% health. 99% there. Then we move up to node 40 with Zorbing Man uh, with Buffet over time, uh, regenerative, unblockable three. So if he gets. Um, Two meter generation buffs, then he can go unblockable. Uh, you know, and, he, and so we, but as man, you know, with Scorpion is a fight that we've done several times on other nodes and other areas of the game. Had still have the advanced power boost going, uh, so I was able to throw on the uh, get the taunt up early, so I didn't have to worry about the unblockable. And then I got him down to a special two. Uh, he doesn't want to quite throw that special two, so I parry. Go ahead and get the uh, special one off again to get the taunt up. Then that taunt then allows him to throw the special two. And we're just letting him kill himself, basically, what, what it boils down to. He keeps refining, though, and there he is, refines to the 10th. Uh, coming up here, it should be the 10th unblockable or regeneration buff coming up here. I think here I throw a special two. It doesn't. It's a kill. Yeah, it kills. So we don't have to worry about it. But I did take a lot of. Uh, physical damage right there. I went from about 93% health down to 75% health. So we're going to go ahead and throw in a quick heal potion. We're going to go ahead and jump into this uh, uh, wrencher fight if the game lets us, <laughs> lets us fight. Um, so we try to move up the wrencher here. Uh, i kind of concerned about the time left on my uh, advanced power boost as both of those fights were just a little bit over a minute each. Uh, I see I have about 10 seconds left. Instead of clicking into the fight, I accidentally clicked to check the nodes and I already knew the nodes, <laughs> but it's okay. We're in there. We're going to go ahead and do this fight. All right. So pretty much a standard uh, cow fight versus scorpion. You know, so just doing some medium like mediums to get the poisons up and then I get him in the corner. Then I realized, oh, I haven't got him off his, uh, his missing charges yet. So I need to get him off of his charges, but I messed up on the spacing. And then I end up eating a four piece combo. And now I lay on the heavy. And then he throws his special one. And then now I'm gonna hit him with a special two to try to get back some of my health. I don't know if this guy was, he had to be running some form of uh, regeneration power. And there I thought I was in BGs. That's what I do in BGs. Normally I can dex that, but for some reason I wasn't able to get out of there. Then I also forgot about the charges, but the AI being as kind as they want to be, we needed that. <laughs> and then he, he let me go ahead and heavy him, even though the heavy came a little bit late. I just feel like my heavies have been off lately. Um, 
there and try to get him. And I remember now, oh, I'm in war. I don't have to take the risk. Throws a special two. So I throw a heavy. And there I hit him with a special one as he's doing his heavy. Getting another knockdown. There he goes throwing his special one. Now we got the fight somewhat under control, but I again make the same mistake. I throw the special while he has missing charges building up. It's like, ugh. And then I hit him again, and now he's unblockable. I'm like, oh my god. This fight that was going so well is now a little bit out of hand, but I go ahead and intercept him with a quick medium. There he throws a heavy. Um, now he's about throwing an unblockable special two. He is at 18 missing charges. And for some reason, I'm not 100% certain why the missing charges never went away, but they didn't. <laughs> and I couldn't parry him. Obviously, he was immune to parry. So I did hit him with a heavy after he threw a heavy. He throws a special one. I threw a two-hit combo. Notice he only had a little bit of health left and take that fight out. So that is it for me on this war. Uh, and that is it for a rank five scorpion. Uh, if, you, um, if you enjoyed what you've seen here, make sure you click the like button if you are new. Or even if you're not new and you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. And uh, I definitely try to read all the comments that we have there. Uh, but until next time, this is your boy Ghost Dog signing out. Peace.